Good day, everyone, and welcome to our SIG webinar today. The topic is HPE Art. Protect your business now. Next. This uh, webinar is brought to you by our Vivid Security and Privacy SIG leader, so Dominic Listerman and Kevin May run our special interest group on security. I am your host. I am Rocky Pisto. I'm a chapter leader, SIG leader in the BSM space and covering today for the team to help moderate this call. Today's speaker is Pedro Mangel Mendez. I'll, I'll forget the, the, the third middle name. But uh, he's a biz business unit manager at Data Smart, and he's the Portugal chapter leader. Next. So we have a few housekeeping things to address. First, this is a live session. It's being recorded, and the recording will be available to all Vivid members in the future. If you have questions, there's a webinar control panel pane that you can type in your questions here and we'll see it on the screen and address it uh, either during the presentation or after the presentation today. And uh, if, if we don't answer your question during the webinar today, it will be recorded and documented and we will provide you that link in a few days. And I think with that, I turn it over over to Pedro. Pedro, it's all yours. Okay, thank you, Rocky. So, good afternoon for everyone. We will try to cover um, one of the major issues for the to today business is just to protect our business. We will see um, what the dimension of the business today, and that the IT is one of the, the big. Uh, uh, issues for for the business so we have to protect our business in the best way we can so we have huge investments from from companies we have um, several dynamic IT systems changes systems are always changing just like uh, for cloud and moving from uh, servers and storage in the, in the traditional way or to cloud so this this kind of changes moves a lot with the, the, the plans we have uh, in place. Are we going through the motions? Are, are we going straight with the plans, the correct plans with all these changes? Where do we start? So this is the, the questions that we're going to cover in this uh, webinar. So first of all, it's very important for us as uh, technicians, as uh, business managers, as uh, the whole company to understand the kind of, of business risks we the business is uh, facing. We have, for example, technology risks. What can we, we do? We talk about this kind of, of risk the business is facing. IT failures. We can have a, ser a server fail, uh, or for example, the, the, the monitoring software is failing and not giving us the right uh, the, the right answer. We can have a database failure, and we know the importance of uh, of a database uh, in the IT environment and the whole the whole thing. We can have networks failing. We can have cybercrime that it's, uh, it's something that is happening every day uh, in, the, in the our days. We can have in-house sabotage. It's something very very it's happening also. Efforts to steal corruption, destroying of data, denial of service, malware, and things like that. This is technology risk. This is something that we are facing today about. It's a technology risk, physical risk. We can have AVAC failures, power outage, telecommunication failures, loss of business and customer retention. So this is a physical risk that the business also is facing. Let's let's see that. In, uh, in, this, in this minute we are talking about, we are facing two huge risks. Let's let's talk about human risk. So we can have a human error. Uh, people are human and they fail. 
they fail not because they want to fail, but it's it's something that is inherent from from the, the perspective of a human. So we can have a, a human error or a data corruption fail. We can have organized crime activity, and we have seen terrorist acts, for example. We can have local and reg regional disruption, strikes, legal action, shutdown orders, uh, wrong shutdown orders. And for example, environment risks. In, it's, uh, in the United States, we have lots of uh, disasters, uh, natural disasters, uh, like uh, a flood, a earthquake, hurricane, tornado. Well, in my, my country, in Portugal, uh, we don't have so much the, the hurricane and the earthquake, but uh, we have been suffering from earthquake in the lots of years ago, but uh, right, um, right now we are facing more like fire and flood because we are near the coast and the river. But this is four kinds of risks that our business is facing every day, and I want you to have it to very, very close to you when we think about protecting our business. I want to put this slide on this presentation just to, to give us an idea because we can, we can think, no, today we have lots of technology and we are safe, our business is safe. So let's, let's go 100 years ago and let's think why, how risk management was, uh, was applied in, in 100 years ago. Let's make some questions here. Do you know why Titanic has sunk? Uh, have you, everyone does see this kind of information. So did they manage the risk correctly? Or do you think it's all about technology? The ship doesn't have the right technology to, to sail away to his destiny? Or do you think that the, the, the problem, it was about procedures and the right procedures to, to, to go uh, to his destiny? So this is something that we have to, to say. So they, have a, they have a risk management plan. They have a lot of uh, compartments that they can flood, uh, but maybe they, the, the wrong plans make the ship sink. So this is what we have to think in our days. We have to have the right plans and at the right, uh, uh, write it down the right way because the technology won't save us from, from flood. One of one of the the risks that business is also fa facing, and this is uh, like a technology risk. IoT is uh, it's present every day now, nowadays. So Internet of Things, you can see it. I just put here a picture to have a, a, an idea what we are facing. We have uh, machines that is selling food inside our company that are connected to the internet. We have uh, air conditioning needs, we have um, EP cameras that are connected to the internet. So, as I have some text here, just to give, give us some numbers, there are today more than 10 billion connected devices that, that are connected inside our company and exposed to the companies that are managing that device. And uh, you know that the last six months, uh, the, a huge uh, risk is occurring in the, in the United States with a, uh, a food machine that the attackers enters with inside the food machine with the IP and attack the company with a denial of service uh, through to the, 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 the food machine. So what I want to, to, to show with this slide is that we have to, to be sure that uh, we have to move forward with our procedures. We have to, to have, for example, a network with several uh, VLANs to the right connected device. So we are not in the time that we just have one VLAN for the whole devices. We are facing another time with uh, lots of connected devices that needs to be sealed off from our production environment. Okay. So we'll be, be free to, to put some questions live when we are talking. And then if we can answer uh, live, we, we, we will answer or we will answer at the end. So I put this slide also with uh, these uh, four uh, suits. And uh, what's wrong in here? That we have the same, the same suite for four different people. What I want to show to you is that we have must, risk management plan is not uh, 
it's not the same for every company, for every environment. So you, you should have your, the right management, risk management plan for each company, if for, for each context. So, in, in Portugal, I don't know, but we, we used to, for the CEOs to, to okay, let's implement uh, risk management plan and uh, the standard one. So this, this, this doesn't work. We have to, to, to make an assessment, understand the risks for our context, for our systems, for our software, for the way we make the business, if we are exposed to the web commerce or we have a other context of, of business. So each company is business has is uh, risk management plan with the right tools, with the right procedures. Okay. So we are seeing here a cat with the right risk management plan because he's not afraid from the dogs. What is the, the, the importance of a tested and accurate disaster recovery process? So uh, now we are talking about, for instance, where, we, where our art can help us in the recovery process of disaster recovery. Just for you to understand that uh, before the 9-11 event, uh, IT managers said that they had to fight for the money to implement disaster recovery plans and technology. This is normal in Portugal and Europe. I know I talk with my colleagues in the UK and other countries. IT managers, it's a, they, are, they are all fighting for money for, for increase the security and to implement this, uh, disaster recovery plans. After 9-11, we, we have lots of, of changes in, in, the, in the speech because we, are, we have lots of, of examples for the companies that the, the, they are not prepared for that. For example, Cantor Fitzgerald has lost almost 700 employees. And when they lost the employees, which is uh, very, very bad as a human perspective, of course, and, and for the company, they lost also this primary data center. So the risk and the, the company is, is almost close as a, as a deal because all the, the the know-how and the, the, the procedures and the, the even they have a second in, and I, I, will, I will go to to the next slide even they, they have a second data center they don't have the right persons and the know-how to to put them up and go to business so it, it's just for for everyone to understand that it's not all about technology it's about procedures and the right procedures to recover from uh, disaster recovery so maybe if you have a second a second site, you don't have the right people in the know-how uh, alive to, to do it. Okay. So another example, Cantor Fitzgerald has lost uh, almost 20 to 200 million in the loss of property and interruption of business. Nowadays, if you stop to work, to, to be live or on the e-commerce, for example, for one month, two months, it can be the, the, the death of the, the company. So what companies today are asking is for a, a, a BIA, it's a business impact analysis, what can analyze if a disaster or what, what is the impact for the company. Okay. So the message in the speech is business and IT must be aligned. So you, you must have the, the right IT, for the right business, and not there is there, there is not another way. One of the things we say: What is the cost of doing nothing? Okay, do you do you put this question? I, I have a challenge for you. Just ask your CEO or your your general manager this question: What is the cost of doing nothing? So doing nothing seems very inexpensive at first glance. There is nothing in new, new equip, no equipment or software to purchase, no annoying project plan to set up, and overtaxed personnel to relocate. So it's easy to defend a zero, okay? Who can argue with a strategy that has a cost of zero? No one. Everyone is happy, no, no problem. But doing nothing only works until the moment that something happens, okay? So when something happens, if you don't invest money, then invest technology and the right procedures and people, just like it's efficient not to carry an umbrella right until the day it rains. So it's like uh, for you to understand. So in the IT field, something is definitely going to happen. The only, the only question is when. So 
let's focus on this. Something happens, doing nothing starts to look when once something happens, doing nothing starts to look more costly. So we we want to for you to, to think where where art can help on this kind of um, issues about uh, disaster recovery plans, about the procedures to do that. And um, we think that art can change. Imagine, for example, for instance, when you have a disaster recovery plan, you have Excel with the, the, the host name and the IP address and the, what is the, 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 the description of the machine, and you have all the steps, and the, for instance, uh, uh, workflow for, for start up the machine or a recovery for a, uh, uh, when you want to, to, to make a, um, a restore for a database, for example. Imagine if you don't have the, the static documents, the Excel and the words and all the, the, the text static work, imagine that you have the whole press, the process record in the video action document live. So you can record all these steps in the in an environment when you save you save all the steps for a disaster recovery, and when you need it to recover from a disaster, you just have to to to, to make a play from this uh, this process, and you have it already done. So you just have to to do it. For instance six months in, in a row and you have the, the whole process updated without human error. Okay? So one of the advantages of art is that we can we just have a single source creation. We we save the, the whole process once one time and then we have we have output in the very format. We can have in a, in a we we're gonna see forward the the, 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 the the various formats that we have. So the advantage of uh, effective plans, we have a redu reduce uh, consultancy costs, increase self-sufficiency, but we are self-sufficient, reduce single point of knowledge, because we have the procedures saved in the, in the fashionable way that we are not so depend dependent from, the, from people. So we have one of the things that the business and the companies are, are, are also used to do these days is outsourcing groups and for instance you have the the operations team is these, these teams are in an outsourcing so it's normal to every year to change the company that is selling this kind of service with an SLA so if you have the procedures all saved and the very, very in a fashion way, you can easily change your company of, that is providing your resources without mitigating the risk. Okay. <clears throat> Reduce single point of knowledge, mitigate risk to the business. So I, uh, you have a, an example, for, for example, where Data Smart is helping the customers with art. On the right, we have here a workflow of a single database failure, and, and this is a static document of a, a customer of DataSmart that, when the database is fail, has a, suffers from a failure, they have to follow all these this workflow. So, if you are in the pressure with the customer and the phones and the tickets and all the things, everyone is is. Uh, asking you when, when do the, the database and the application are going to stay up and you have to read all this workflow document. What we propose with ART is just to record the, step, the steps live with the, the restore of the database. Imagine with the data protector or with the, the solution you have for, for the, the restore. You just do the steps with data protector and we will save it with uh, with HP art and then we can have it like a data sheet or, or just like training and that the, the, the operator must do all the whole steps and then we have a, a evaluation at the end with the percentage of, of the, the success of the, the test but you have you have the process saved in a way that you know that is going to work okay because if you have a static document 
maybe this database has make some move to another machine and the database is no longer in this uh, instance and we when the operator wants to make a restore the doc the document is dead is not a live document okay Pedro can I ask a question yeah. yeah so basically you're saying that with the art tool I can customize it and tailor it to our needs for our company uh, take the, the process flow that's there and just customize it so that we can you know, really tailor it to uh, you know, train any new people that come on board or everyone knows the process, it's all consistent. Exactly, Rocky. What we are okay, saying great. is that yeah, we, we, we have a, process, a live process record in the way the operators just have to do it. So it's no, no document, no Excel, no PDF, no no workflow uh, application. You just have the the procedure like the the the, the operator have to do it live. Okay. So this is a huge advantage. If you people are always changing company, companies are always changing their their company of outsourcing. So that's right. That's correct. Great. So thank you. What is the added value that we are we are uh, you think you minimize human error because if you have the process saved live, that's you just have to follow it. Okay, train with real procedures, not documents. This is the the, the real the real added value. Maximize your your RTO also because you you use less time to to do it. Okay, reduce time to produce and change procedures. So we will you will be more easy to. To have, to have uh, to pass the message to the whole team with a new procedure or a change of procedure because and go live and be ready to 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 work. Okay. So we will try to see. I have a, a virtual machine with the art installed. I am not authorized to to record uh, something in our customers and show it today. But uh, what, I, what I have done is to, to I have a virtual machine and I record some some steps in the Windows 7 machine, and you will see uh, how we can we can record easily some three four steps, and then um, you can run it uh, like uh, different outputs. So let me push the. For example, so this is my Windows 7 machine, uh, and it's a HP Art webinar, and I will gonna I'm gonna open the, the index. So this is already saved, okay? So I I save it, and I'm gonna open it. Okay, so. This is all, we can customize all this uh, image. We can put uh, the, the image for your company and say uh, procedure for the, the restore of database or whatever. So, we're gonna launch the, the record in test mode. So this, so this is, art is opening here, sorry. So I click on, on the start menu of the Windows 7. But if I, and I have to go to the paint, this is the lesson that we record. I have to click on start and then I have to click on paint. But if I, I'm wrong and I click on calculator, okay, Art will, will say to me, your response was not correct. Will, will you like assistance? And I will say, yes, okay, I will need help, okay? And Art can have a, a, a balloon saying to me, okay, you just have to click paint. Okay? And I will click the right, Place, okay, so maybe imagine that this is uh, data protector or BSM or whatever. So what I should do, do is to close the paint at the moment, but I will do another thing. I will click on view and will, it will say me again, your response is not correct, we will like assistance. 
and I will say no okay I forget but I know I have to close it so I will close it and it will do nothing at the end just like this is a test uh, in the test version an output like a test it will say to me you have completed the lesson we have three steps and you uh, have done it two, two of them you have made it to the, on the wrong way so you you have a percentage of accuracy 33% okay we could restart the lesson until we have 100% or send the results to uh, your manager or your human resources okay so this is one of the way um, one of the ways that in an output that we can we can do this for example I, I will I will do the same thing the virtual machine okay. for example I will open in an assessment the same record Oh, this is not uh, correct. For instance, if we we record we record once and we want different outputs, I can have this for uh, for example in the in the spreadsheet where or in the in the almost for for um, outputs different outputs. I don't know if I have it record here the whole the whole steps. Ah, okay, so here you have a different perspective of the same record you have the software is saying to you where to go so imagine that this operator doesn't know anything what you have to, you have to do so he's saying click start button and then he's saying again click the paint and then click the close button okay and as you can see in the bottom the whole steps are record individual and you say you have completed the lesson okay so the same record you have two different approach and what the way you 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 can you can do it one of the things i can i can show a little bit of the the tool the tool of art the the, the software but what I'd like, uh, Rocky, I think the, the, the best way, and if someone is interested in a real demo with different software or even with the BSM or Data Protector, he should leave the, his contacts and we can do something more uh, specific. You, sure. Because, yeah, yeah that, that would be great. I mean, they can either, uh, you know, they can send us an email. Yeah. Or they can send it to you as a one of the SIG uh, leaders or chapter leaders for Portugal. I, yeah. you know, we can provide the contact info. Yeah. Or they can, and you know, put it in the question pane, and we can collect their uh, email from there as well. Yeah, and we we will be on discovery this year also, and um, we can we can also be together there and make some some live live demos. One of one so you, of the things. Pedro, you'll, you'll have a booth there at Discover? Yeah, I, I will leave a breakout session with Art also in Discover. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, so we have the opportunity to, to talk more in more detail in London, in Discovery London this year. Well, what, what, I want to, yeah, what I want also to, to make sure for you to, to, to be crystal, crystal clear is that Art doesn't save a video. Art is, you can separate the whole clicks that you do in the whole procedure. So when I click the start button, it just it knows that this is a, a step. It's not a whole video. When I click on paint, it creates another step, another panel. So you can have different specifications. You can have 26 language for art. So you can record once. And if you are a multinational company, you can pass the information to the different countries with one record. You can spread the whole message in 26 languages. Okay, so this is a huge advantage and a advantage 
and a um, uh, huge uh, time uh, time saving. Okay. So. So Peter, for, just a question. Yeah. So that, just to help me understand better, the uh, the art tool comes pre-configured for learning how to use tools like ALM or Performance Center or BSM to to get into your company so that you know if you've got one 10 or 20 employees or they're rotating or people are coming and going they can take this course because it's all it's part of the corporate environment it's already been you know customized for yeah. the for the company environment so that new people you know you don't have to send them to training somewhere it's right in house they can take their time and they can kind of learn how to use the, the HPE software tools that are exactly. that the company owns and kind of give them a quick start lesson and also you mentioned again it's customized so that it fits you know whatever the company is their environment the way they do things so that's um, that's that's a hundred percent correct, yeah, and it's a huge advantage. So you can train your your operation team with the BSM or operations, and you have a pre-record of all the steps of the software, so you can record the the training for the the, the BSM or operations with a pre-record and or, or customize it for the customer. Yeah, but it's a uh, you have the the pre pre sale pre save it. Uh, environment. That yeah. seems to be the, the biggest problem that I see, that I hear from my customers, is that we can't find people that know how to use these tools. They're not trained anymore, uh, it because things happen so quickly. So, yeah, I mean, this is a great way to get them uh, again trained and not spending the cost of sending them somewhere. Yeah, that's that's that that's the message, Rocky. I I will I will talk about uh, an example uh, that we are working very very hard with the KTM motorcycles. They okay. they are yeah they 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 have they are spread all, all over the world and on Brazil and the, the whole area in Europe also, and they have a big issue because they have the software for where you. You you buy the the, the 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 parts for the motorcycles in the whole world, and this software is not the easy, easy friendly software. But it, it's not it's a huge project that they have to to build a new software. So they are very concerned about every country, every uh, company that is representing locally KTM uh, can order the right parts. In a f easy and fast way, okay, that the, the market is demanding. So what we are talking with KTM is we can record the train session for the software and spread it the whole language in a easy way and fast way, and they can learn very fast how to use the application of KTM to order the parts. So they are very happy. We are we are working very hard on this and. We, we we know that we're gonna fulfill his needs. So this is an example that what we can use art also, and um, a good example. Okay. So do we have more questions and answers, uh, Rocky? Well, we probably have some questions, but and you can provide the answers. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you know, question. One of the questions is, uh, and again, anyone that's on the line and you've got questions about uh, the presentation today, and and about art or just anything related to, you know, the security SIG, for example. So if you've got security related questions or what's happening with HP questions, feel free to put them in there. And uh, we can kind of keep the conversation going. We've got another 20, 20 some minutes, so uh, let's make the most use of it. And uh, so, you know, I, a few questions here. Uh, can HPR cover education for any application, 
In other words, does it have to be an HPE software application? Can I do it for something else that uh, I need a real process flow? Okay, that's a nice question. No, you, 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 as uh, Rock, as you are saying. So we have pre-record um, uh, sessions for for uh, BSM, for data protector, for service manager. But you can use Art as a record tool for learning, e-learning for the software that you want. So there are no limitations for that. As a, the KTM example that we are talking about, so you can record any application, any procedure. Uh, feel free to to do it. No, no, no issue on that. And you've provided the link to where we could find out, you know, what applications are currently supported by HP software, HPE software, uh, using the uh, the Art tool. So that that's great. Yep. Um, and you mentioned earlier in the presentation that you know there are multiple languages that that can use HP Art. So it's not just in English, or it's there's a number of languages. That support uh, the use of the tool. Yep, and we are talking about twenty-six language so twenty-six I, languages. Uh, okay, twenty-six. Yeah, so it's a Great. huge advantage because you can record once the procedure, and then you can spread the procedure for a lot of countries with different language, and you don't have to to just have to to make the, the pass it to another language. So. And again, you know, Rocky, how technicians like to, to, to make the, the documentation of their project, you know, they love it. <laughs> Our, right. Yeah, they, don't, they don't like to do it. So, But with art, it's very easy. You just have to, to have the tool recording all the steps. And when you are implementing or installing the software, for instance, uh, we, ha we have companies that, uh, like um, companies, huge companies in Portugal that, they are interested in art, for instance, for when the consultants are installing solutions like uh, Exchange or uh, something like, or SQL, they can save the whole implementation and then they can document with the life process of the implementation. So this is just uh, unbelievable what you can do. Well, I, I just see, you know, that, that's a tremendous. Uh, feature of the tool is that you've you've got a place to document uh, you know current procedures or, or current applications so that you know others once it's documented that seems like you said it's that's the part that people don't like to do they put it on a spreadsheet or a word yeah. document this is a more automated way to document uh, yeah. the procedure or the process so that uh, when the next person comes along he sees the most current version of the product procedure to make sure that you know don't forget this step or that step so exactly. no, that's great and you know how, how implementations are done everyone they've done every technicians have done the print screens of the installation the next next that's another right. print screen and that, that, this is this is uh, <laughs> to the, nowadays you, you see you are still doing that so what we are yeah. saying is with art you don't need to do that you don't have to spend time print, making print screens you just go do your job and art is saving all the steps and the, the whole windows that you and the whole information you are typing so it's great it's great it's great it's real great do you know what the uh, what the latest version is of art 513 513 5.13 yeah, okay exactly. it's uh, have less than a month the new version and we have new functionalities we will show it on discovery this year okay. and uh, it's, uh, tell it's, me Pedro uh, how does the licensing work okay the license so you have two separate uh, two, two separate things you have the um, the authoring tool so it's the tool where you you save the steps Okay, and you need a license for that, and then you have the runtime lessons, license. So if you want one person to, to or you want to save it one project at a time, you only need one license for authoring, okay, for for save. 
if you want to pass the same the the, the, the save it process or application to a hundred persons, you will need a hundred runtime license. Okay, so okay. this is how art is licensed. And of course, uh, if you you have more runtime license, the price will, will decrease uh, depending on the, the volume. So it's a normal volume license uh, for the runtime. And what do you see t in a typical environment? How many of these licenses do they use? Is it Different or is it generally? I don't know. Well, it, just yeah, give it. it depends. It depends on the organization. So you can sure. have for. It depends on the organization. We are working with the local government for where the the, the, the incoming taxes, and they have the persons that are the, the inspectors that are on on the on the street, and it goes to the. To the local business, uh, trying to 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 see and check the uh, all the the documents, and they have to have they have to know how to use the, the, the applications. Even when they are on the street, they they launch new applications and modifications and new versions, and and if they they can still continue to work and doesn't have to go on the on the headquarters, it's a big advantage. So they have lots of persons in the street. It depends on the organizations. If you have a hundred persons working with the software, or if you have ten or twenty, so it's uh, again sure. it's a volume matter. Okay. But but it's a it's an investment because you will you will earn that money up front because you will save on uh, on the time consuming of getting process in a static way. And uh, you will learn. You will learn uh, lots of money in this investment, for sure. Well, I just think it it just makes it easier uh, for practitioners uh, to have a, a tool that they can go to versus trying to read manuals that aren't tailored to their organization. And you know, if I'm in management, I'm going. I'm offering them a tool uh, that will hopefully excite them enough to want to work in this space or want to work with these tools and uh, plus giving them some assurance that there's some training available that they can reach out to here's how we do it in our company and it's you know it's not coming from a third generation or a third person it's coming right from the actual document that's been created and approved and uh, to uh, here's how we do things so I think it would make more people comfortable taking on new technology you know as long as there's some kind of standardized training and I don't think there's probably anything better than and trying to do it this way and uh, you know one of the one of the questions that came about here is uh, and again I'm not quite sure I'm trying to read into it but uh, uh, can I save things you know steps to a video uh, I'm not Quite sure what they're saying, but uh, say video so, of of the steps. Well, well, Rocky, when art is not saving again, crystal clear, art does not save in a video format. So he's not saving AVEs or JPEG. So he's saving in the uh, art extension. Uh, you can you can well you can run it and then if you have some. Some tool to, to save it what is passing on the screen. Yes, you can you can do it. Yes, you can do it. So uh, again, one of the things that, that we, we I, I want to say also when you when you record the whole steps in, in step you, you can edit and you can add audio. For instance, we have seen just text saying to you just click start and then go to MES Paint. But if you want to, to have audio, you can add audio. You just edit that step and you put, you put the, an audio file saying just please click MES Paint. Okay. So you can have audio and text uh, in the steps if, if you think that it's better to, to be more efficient on the training. Yeah. Well, I think this is as close to YouTube as we're going to get. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> as far as exactly. learning things, <laughs> well, the user will love it. Yeah. 
I, I think so, yeah. Go ahead. So if you want more, uh, just uh, in this slide you have the contact of Jeanette Jacobs. It's a worldwide uh, product senior manager. He's the one who's leading uh, worldwide the, the HP art software. And you have my, my contact, my email also, if you have some questions uh, to, to put it. So we have here also a video about, uh, about art that you can, uh, you can, you can read it and, and see it. Okay. And some link with information on HP um, about about art. Okay. Great. Here's some of the links. Yep. So we have here also information that Rocky wants to share about the upcoming Vivid webinar. Yeah, I mean, if you're a Vivid member, uh, you're probably getting. Uh, information we we we've got two to three webinars a week I think scheduled out through uh, October at this point and into November so there's a lot of interesting information on uh, just you know a ton of topics that we get from the HP product marketing teams and partners so uh, just be on the lookout looks like this one's five ways digital learning helps build amazing IT operations so it looks like it's uh, an education want coming from the education team as well. So be on the lookout for that. Okay. And with we have more questions, Rob. Pedro, let me see if there's anything. Uh, looks like uh, can we download trial versions of the product? I, I'm, I'm thinking the answer is yes. Yes, if you are, uh, you need some help, maybe. No, Rocky, can you check on this? Also, I'm not sure. If, uh, I think if you go to the HP website in the education area, I mean, I know that. I mean, I can download just about everything in a trial version. So, uh, I think it's samples, not really the the binaries. But uh, I'm not sure again. So. Yep. No, can, not a we problem. Can, we can, we can cover. Yeah. I, you bet. And I think with that, let me see if there's any other questions here. Whoops. Uh, yeah, I think that was the last question, Pedro. And I, I think uh, with that, uh, I think we're all done. That was great. Thanks for okay. the information on HP Art and who you are and what you're doing in uh, Portugal. So thanks again. Thank you, Rocky. Thank all you right. all. Take care, everyone. Thanks for attending, and we'll Bye -bye. see you next time. Bye.